Hello there and welcome. You know, I have studied personal growth now for my entire adult life and have been teaching it all over the world. And one of the greatest hang-ups that people have is the belief in themselves. They, they suffer from something called self-doubt. Many years ago, I read something. Um, it was by um, Ralph Waldo Emerson. It was this essay on self-reliance. That's what we want to do. We want to rely on self. And in that, he said, there would come a time in every person's education when they'd realize that envy is ignorance and imitation is suicide. So many people look at someone that's doing very well, possibly in the same field they're in, and envy them. Do you know what that's saying? That's saying, I don't know that I have the same mental faculties you've got. I'm drawing on the same potential that you're drawing on. There is only one mind. I don't know that. So I'm going to envy you thinking you can do something I'm not able to do. The truth is, if you can do it, I can do it. Envy is ignorance, it's not knowing that. And he said, imitation is suicide. Do you know that nothing in this universe would move in the precise order it moves in your absence? That's true. Everything in the universe is essential. You take any part away from anything, it's not complete. And everything in the universe moves in a very precise way. So do you see, we shouldn't even want to be like anybody else because we are unique. We are truly unique. There's something like about us that you'll never find in another person. We're unique. And we've got the godlike ability to think. Now, what is self-doubt? Self-doubt is the opposite of self-confidence. Confidence comes from understanding. Like I would imagine you're confident you can drive your car. In fact, you're so confident that you'll be talking to somebody on the phone, you'll get in the car, you'll start the car, you'll drive, and you'll drive maybe four or five blocks, not even be aware of what you've done. It's all done automatic. Your concentration is on the conversation you're on. Now, when you first got in a car, you couldn't do that. The car was probably jumping all over the place and you thought you'd never learn how to drive it, but you learned how to drive it. Now you're quite confident. You're confident that you can get dressed when you get up in the morning. When you were a little boy or a little girl, you couldn't do that. You had to be taught to do it. Well, do you know, self-confidence comes, like all confidence, it comes with knowledge. And the more you study you, the more you understand who you are, the more confident you'll become in your ability to do whatever it is you're doing. And you'll know that if you lack confidence in an area, it's because you lacked information in that area. Get some good material out and study it. Our company puts out such phenomenal material. It's material I've been studying for over 50 years. And not just studying, but demonstrating, using it. We've watched millions of people go from poverty to abundance, not by accident, but by design. Never doubt yourself. And when you do, understand that the cause of that doubt is not lying within you. It's in wrong thinking. It's in not understanding who you are. Study yourself. Self-study will develop self-confidence. And self-confidence eliminates self-doubt. Check us out at ProctorGallagherInstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.